Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. Hey, in this video, I'm going to be showcasing the brand new Energy 140 hand cannon that comes from the new raid and uh, the Garden of Salvation. Now, I'm pretty sure this only drops from the third encounter. At least that's the only place it has dropped so far for me. I've had a few of these drops. I've, I think I've got like six clears so far of the raid. Um, and this is the only this is the only encounter I've had a drop from is the Harpy boss. So, um, when you drop that boss, cross your fingers, hope you get uh, one of these to drop with a solid roll. Now, let's talk about the gun specifically. Like I said, it is an energy hand cannon. It is a 140. What is it similar to uh, stat-wise? It's very similar to an Ostringer, so it's uh, it's very close to that. The only difference being uh, a little bit better recoil direction and uh, a little bit better in the aim assist department as well. It's akin to the Ostringer, but it can roll some unique perks that the Ostringer cannot, uh, including a Rapid Hit and Swashbuckler. And would you believe it? Those are the two perks I got on mine. Yeah, I got I got a Rapid Hit and Swashbuckler on mine. So that's what you're seeing in all the gameplay here. On top of that, I also rolled Accurized Rounds and Full Bore. So the range is fantastic uh, on paper. <laughs> in practice, uh, it, it does feel like it is uh, punished for the recent hand cannon changes. So that being said, um, mine also rolled a stability masterwork. So I, go, I went ahead and capped that out as well. And quite frankly, I think I might actually swap from full bore back to, um, like I'm either gonna do one of two things. I'm either gonna swap from full bore up to corkscrew rifling, or I'm gonna switch from accurized to steady rounds. So um, the gun has a pretty solid recoil direction. Uh, it's pretty easy to manage, but um, you may as well try and, it, it, in my opinion, I'm just going to say, uh, you may as well try and maximize things like stability now, if you have the option to do so, and experiment with it, because range, is, it, it caps out, so it, it may not behoove you too much to invest too heavily into the range department on hand cannons like this. One or two perks that bump it up is probably plenty, but I think we're past the age where it's it's... A must to have, you know, a rangefinder, accurized, full bore, and a range masterwork. I think we're beyond that now, and uh, we can start to mix and match some things and maybe fine tune our hand cannons for things like handling and stability as well. So, uh, it is a 140, it hits like a 140, all the damage numbers are exactly akin to uh, 140s. But you're gonna see as well that since I have Swashbuckler on mine, there's some uh, interesting damage values being pumped out here depending on how many stacks of Swashbuckler I have. And uh, sometimes even up into the 90s for damage depending on how many stacks. Um, I decided that this coupled pretty well, and this is nothing new, 140s, uh, gun, the hand cannons that fall into this family have coupled well with throwing knives uh, historically, even back in Destiny 1. So uh, I really enjoyed today using this hand cannon with throwing knives, especially since a lot of your hand cannon en engagements are a little bit closer nowadays any anyways, with the uh, range reduction to hand cannons. So I threw a lot of knives today, and I uh, put a lot of people down with them, and it's just a fun way to play. And when you finish up your kill with a knife, obviously, that's gonna give you instantly five stacks of swashbuckler, so you can uh, put in some work. Rapid hit is an interesting perk on hand cannons as well. It was very helpful a lot of times when I had to uh, engage somebody that was outside of the optimal range from, for this hand cannon. Uh, I got into some gunfights with people where I was just doing like 50 to the head, right? And I really needed to hit four headshots in order to secure the kill. Well, rapid hit kicks in and it actually made it as my volley continued, it made it increasingly much more easy to land my follow-up shots and put the target down without missing any of those crucial headshots. In terms of what to pair it with, obviously it's in the energy slot, so you can couple it with some um, hard-hitting kinetics with some solid range. So my choices of the day were things like Revoker, Frigid Jackal, Alone as God, and then even things like the new Raid Pulse Rifle. I didn't use it, but a Blast Furnace would probably couple well with it, as well as a Bygone's Don't Kill Me, I'm sorry, I didn't, like I said, I didn't do it, but those would, those would pair pretty well, I think, as well as things like Mida if you're working on your uh, Randy's Throwing Knife Pursuit, or even a Jade Rabbit, something that is consistent and has solid range to it would work pretty well in your kinetic slot, and it is interesting because of the changes that 
double primary isn't really... I don't know, it might actually be a good call, depending on your loadout. And uh, you may not have to run a special weapon anymore as a must. Uh, I know that some people got away with uh, avoiding special weapons in the past, but usually that meant substituting a recluse in for your special weapon. But I think that now we're in a position where we can be a little bit more creative with double primary loadouts as well because of the reduction to range on hand cannons. The gun absolutely looks beautiful, by the way. I love the aesthetic of the new raid weapons altogether, and this one is uh, just like those. It has that neat, um, I don't know what you would call it, this wavy, uh, I don't know, luminescent sort of lit up design underneath the barrel that looks really clean. The optics are very clean, very unobstructive. And uh, on top of that, the sound is very unique as well. It almost sounds, it almost looks and sounds like it wouldn't be a 140 hand cannon. It looks and sounds like it should be a sidearm. I don't know. I had some people in chat actually while I was using this today come in and be like, what's that sidearm he's using? Just because it has that, it's not as boxy or, or uh, well framed as a 140 hand cannon tends to be. It doesn't sound as powerful either. Uh, it sounds very much like a, an alien energy pistol of some kind, so I like the aesthetic overall and it matches that of the other raid weapons. Well, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Best of luck in getting your hands on this hand cannon. I would recommend it in terms of how it is overall in the meta. I would say that it is, it is not the greatest hand cannon out there, but it is a really good hand cannon and it can roll some really good perks. So if you are comfortable with hand cannons, you can make this one work in some pretty cool environments. I used mine in, uh, I used mine in Classic Mix today. I used it in Control today. I used it in Elimination. I used it in Comp uh, so that I could get a good, um, a good feel for how it fares against all kinds of different things. And would you believe it? I matched Sweat Lords in every single one of those environments. <laughs> so I definitely had my fair share of competition today using this thing. And it did it did pretty well. And I uh, was able to top most of the leaderboards. Um, there were some instances where it was pretty clear that it could still be outperformed by things like Not Forgotten. Um, by things like the Recluse at close range. Uh, Mountaintop obviously is a very popular weapon as well that they can just put you down one hit, or by the time you get to your third shot, they've hit you with a mountaintop, swapped to their primary, and cleaned you up. So, against the best of the best, it kind of struggles, but against everything else, it's pretty good. All things considered, it's a pretty good hand cannon, and it certainly depends on your competition. If Joe Schmo is using the best of the best, you can still outperform him. But if it's somebody of equal or greater skill, you might struggle using this against a full meta uh, loadout. But thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. And I've got more raid weapons to pump out reviews on as well, uh, including the sniper rifle, which I got an interesting roll on. I hope I get a better one next week. But I got an interesting roll on. I'll play around with that a little bit. I also have the bow, fusion rifle. Um, I think that's it, right? I think that's, I've reviewed all the other ones off the top of my head. I want to say I have. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching the videos. Uh, they've had pretty good reception this week, so I appreciate that. And I hope to catch you in the Crucible. Bye-bye.